checkmate. I should know better than to play chess with a military man. Fred, I've noted that you usually take pretty good care of yourself. I wouldn't worry about that. No, I expected to play a friendly game of chess, and what happens? Suddenly, I'm up against Lieutenant General Albert Watson, commanding general of the Third Army. Now, see, to me, these are formations of chessmen. The way you handle them, they're military installations. Funny how people think of an army. Usually, it's in terms of installations, numbers of troops, and masses of equipment. But an army is more than that, Fred. More than the numbers, the buildings, and the hardware. They don't begin to tell the story, not the real story. The Third Army is a living, vital thing, not a collection of statistics. It has a history, a tradition, and a strong underlying purpose. Namely, to meet any challenge that may threaten the life of this nation and the preservation of peace in the world. But more than anything else, the Army is people, all kinds of people, representing a vast complex of knowledge, skill, and energy. This is the mission and the meaning of the 192 active units